guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are still here in the Amazonian maze, and we're going to go to another location. We happen to be on the boat at this point, but this location we're going to be headed is over in this area of the map. Now, I've already traveled there by boat, so I will give you a, a good look of it, look at it on the map. But let me go ahead and show you what we are going to be after here. And to do that, I'm going to go to my actual fish records here. I just caught one of these guys a little while ago. But they're worth a lot of XP. Way up there in the same category. Here he is, the trophy Trahira. The Trahira. Quite a big fish weighed over 50 pounds and if I remember correctly brought in somewhere in the area of about at least 10,000 XP plenty of cash so let me check the inventory I'll see if I can find him here he should still be in here I'm sure he's in the yep there he is caught him with large minnows and right now it's late in the evening. Late in the evening and at night is the best time to fish for them. Yep, there he is. Now nope, it doesn't show the XP on him. But this should. Let's see. XP. Oh, wait. About 6,045. 9,222. If you can get... If you can get the unique one, though, the XP is in around... I believe 20,000 and that is what my goal is I'm trying hard to get a unique one so let's go ahead and see if we can't find one this time we've got a trophy we've got a couple of the smaller ones I'm gonna go ahead and join a private room I'm already here but let me show you on the map what where this location is exactly based on the map view now here's where I was fishing for the bull sharks here and here. You've got to sail your boat through here and around to here to get to the location. Now if you're starting from the boat dock, you got to come all the way through here and along this little rivulet or whatever that is to get to it from that location. Either way, you got to stop here at the mouth of this little rivulet. And it doesn't look like you catch anything that big based on this, but I will tell you one thing I have discovered, and that is you need to use your trolling motor, just like we did with the float fishing for the sharks. And you got to have your anchor up, because these guys are heavy duty. They will pull your boat all over the place. Now I'm going to sneak up on this little spot here. Now I've got a six odd hook. And I believe my line is like 44 pound. And I was able to pull him in. Not too much trouble. Not as much trouble as I had the uh, bull shark sometimes, but. This is still a pretty good sized fish. You can see all the activity over here. So this is where we want to be. There's the opening to the rivulet. We're going to stop right here. And I'm going to toss this right where I've got that marker. Well, I can get the boat to stop. Keeps moving forward a little bit. Eh, it's close enough. usually doesn't take too long and you might catch some other things there's still plenty of piranhas in this area so they're always a possibility looks like something's chasing it
There he goes. Okay, I think we got us a piranha. Yep. <laughs> Damn piranhas. They actually are as common as sunfish. Yeah, we're getting ready to go into a pretty big peak here, as you can see. Might go ahead and advance time a little bit just to get to it. It's not a bad idea. Grant, it's a little harder to see, but this is the prime time for these guys. That was not the best cast. Alright, come on. Yep, we got one. Let's uh, take the tension down a little bit. That was a little bit too much. Could have broken. Yep, we got one. <coughs> this may just be a regular sized one, but we'll see here in a moment. If I have to start falling him with the boat, I'm pretty sure that he's bigger than the common size. And he is pretty much doing a number on this. Let's see. Let's take the boat around then. We'll follow him. Yeah, these guys are no no joke. Yeah, we're gaining on him. We are gaining on him. Yeah, thought we were. <laughs> yeah, we are. We got him. Now this is just a regular size one. So he's 24 pounds. 3678 cash. 1,046 XP. Now, that's not bad, just for a common. Show you how they look like. Yeah, see, I can actually hold him up in the air. The trophy one, that's going to take a little bit more. Let's see how far he took us. Oh, wow. I'm not even sure which direction I'm pointed here. Hold on. Let's see, I'm lost. Yep, it's over there, okay, I see it. Now you saw just how much that one drug me all over the place. And that was just a regular one. Let's get back to our little spot. That's probably good enough. Okay. Don't want to get too close. There we go. Alright, let me check something because I thought I had caught one with something other than float fishing. I can't remember if that's the case, but I think I did. 
Yeah, I did. I caught one with a Santa's milk popper. <laughs> so they do go for poppers. I can't remember what all they do go for. Walkers, poppers, frogs, spinners, spinner baits, buzz baits. So basically, like, anything that's on the surface they tend to prefer. There we go. Not sure that that's what I'm after. Oh, well, it's a trophy flat whisker catfish, though. That's not too bad. It seems like I'm not getting these guys as easy as I did the last time. Let's see here. Come on, fish. There it goes. And we've got us one. This time we got one. Can't tell how big he is, but... Man, he's taking quite a bit of... Line out. Let's see. Yep, we may have to follow him. Where the hell is he going? <laughs> going off into the grasses. There we go. Now he's out in the open water again. I think that's a spot you can actually fish from the shore. Let's see how big this guy is. I think he's just a regular one, but still. That's two of them. He's a little bigger than the last one. He's 30 pounds. 1401 XP. 4486 cash. Yeah, see, he's a little bit bigger. I have to actually hold him in my hands, but that's a better picture right there. No trophies tonight, unfortunately. At least not so far. Still very decent fish. And that's just, like I said, that's just the common. They, he drugged me all the way over here. The thing is, I think our peak is running out. I'm going to try for just a little bit longer, see if we can't get another one. I'm not so sure we are. That definitely is the spot. Amazing how close to shore you catch them.
There we go, we got us another one. Hit my. Okay, this guy's making a break for it. <laughs> He's heading up the river, or the rivulet. I haven't had one do this before. Yeah, I think he's regular size, though, guys. Still haven't got the trophy. Nope, there he is. There's a trophy. Awesome. I actually caught him easier than I did the regular ones. 8544, 5382XP. Still no unique yet, but I am happy to have gotten him. Let's take a look at this guy here. Yeah, now you can really get a good view on what these fish look like. These guys are monsters. Fifty-one inch. Not the biggest one I've caught, but still. Trophy. And trophies are always good. He kind of, like I said, took me a bit upstream there. back way the hell up <laughs> okay there's our marker yeah well, I don't know if we're gonna get any more t so I might try it a few more minutes if not we'll end this video we've already caught three one trophy it's like I'm just so determined to find that unique. I have been trying and trying for several in-game days to get one. Been getting plenty of them. This seems to be a really good spot. Now this might not be the best spot, but this has been good to me. I always like to try it that the mouth of the tributaries, it seems like there's always fish that are coming out of it, or maybe feed, feed bait fish, and the big fish sit in the holes and wait for them to come out, and then they, they eat them. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that session. Hopefully, the next time... Maybe we'll be able to pull in a unique. I always record as I'm fishing off screen, just like I did with the unique Arapaima. And if I happen to pull one in one of the times I'm just fishing and recording, I'll make sure I make another episode. But I am certain that they're going to be found here. If the trophy and regular ones are here, the uniques have to be as well. It's just a matter of timing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.